hello, my friends, and welcome back to Red Dead Redemption 2. How do you do, sir? How do you do, sir, to you? In our last video, we did end the day oh. with Arthur finally getting a proper haircut and shave, and he's he, he shaved pretty pretty far down, so it, 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 it could be a while before he needs a haircut and anything else again. But we are in San Denis, and oh, there there's some lag. Uh, we are going to make our way to a show and see what that's all about. there's two in town and I'm just gonna I'm just gonna take it all in while I while I run there I could walk there but I'm I don't know when these shows stop running so and I, I do wonder if Wednesday's back behind me somewhere probably trespassing again and trying to get me into trouble Maynard Music House Wiseman, San Denis, Lemoyne. I'm getting used to seeing more bad Okay, Fontana Theater, Magic Lantern Shows, Full Color, a Mechanical Marvel. We have Hello. the Ghastly Serenade. Hi, what can I do for you? Show info, please. Which show is it today? We have the Ghostly Serenade playing today. Well, obviously, we're going. Buy a ticket, please. The show will be behind in any of the doors beside the booth. Arthur, you gotta stop randomly taking out your gun. Even though it's totally my fault. <gasps> look at this! Look at this! Let's sit right Greetings here. Greetings and salutations, gentle folk. This here's a story about a young couple from the village of Annisburg that was courting a few years after the Revolutionary War. Courting in the woods, as you know young people want to do. Stealing away all sneaky like. A <laughs> girl by the name of Ethel Beauchard snuck out of the parlor one evening just as soon as her mother went out to hang clothes on the line from the washing. She met up on the road by her farm with a boy by the name of Eugene Hutton. Now, the Hutton boy was an athletic chap, like boxing, fishing, and swinging Indian clubs. It's quite singular to the story that he didn't seem all that inclined to go to war in the preceding years leading up. Well, they walked in the woods for a while. Pretty soon, they lost their bearings and no longer knew the north from the south, nor east from west, neither. Then they heard a low, moaning sound. What's that terrible noise? <laughs> she said all the trim. Must be a sick calf looking for its mama. They've been known to bawl like that. Let me take a look, said Eugene. Well, old Eugene went and disappeared around the tree, came out the other side, and gave her a terrible fright. Boom! She let out a shriek, then went to chastising. You should be ashamed of yourself, Eugene Hutton, she said. Instead of giving a girl protection, you go carry on acting foolish and fresh like the Queen's Prize Jester. But right then and there, a chilly wind blew through and knocked off Eugene's hat. I need to get back home. My mama has a terrible temper. She's like to stomp up and down if she finds out we're missing. She is a fair, stout woman, Eugene noted. But just then, before this couple of miscreants could head home, uh -oh. they heard the sound of heavy wheels groaning and people marching. The cacophony grew closer and closer. And through the fog, they could make out the shapes of ghost uh -oh. horses pulling spectral cannons and dead soldiers marching as if their graves could no longer contain them, each wearing a vile red coat. You will pay for your moral transgressions, the dead soldier howled what? and cut his head clean off. Oh Mr. my God! Hart shrieked in horror as Eugene's head landed right in her hands. His eyes still darting about, attempting to discern what oh horror God. had transpired. <laughs> Little Miss Ethel Beauchard ran as fast as she could, stumbling and getting caught on trees as she tore through the forests. Terrified for her life, the dead soldiers marching after, hungry for blood. When she returned home, 
she told the people of the village that an army of the dead had taken Eugene within the confines of the fog. British soldiers who died protecting tyranny were rising from their graves as if to continue the fight for the demonic English. <laughs> The townspeople erupted in fright and dismay until one daughter came forth and accused her of witchcraft. Oh, no. She raised the dead to murder that boy for his pursuit of unwanted advances, he said. So she too must perish. And that very night, they put her to the stake and burned her dead. Oh, no. Now let that be a lesson to you young ones not to go courting in the woods. In case the English look there, still. Because you might get your head off, head chopped off and, and then burnt at the stake. Because that could happen. Okay. It's over. We can go. Okay, hang on. Uh, the next show is over here. We're going to go there. And we'll try to find a hotel for Arthur to sleep in. It was good. I like it. a nice time. Thank you. I'm like, we seem to be a little stuck, gentlemen. Well, them temperance women are back hounding us again. So We're going to run there, just in case. Oh, it's getting light outside, so I imagine it must not be too late anymore. Early morning shows? Hey, how are things? Great, how are you? Hello. It is morning. Okay. Find the next show. What is this? All for the blind. Le Moyne Supreme Court. Goodbye. Is is someone there? Someone is here. Anything to spare for a blind man? Oh. Sure. Steal his money? <laughs> oh, is someone there? Hello. There you go, oh, friend. Oh, bless you, Mister. Truly, you're a saint. Yes, sir. There should be more people in the world like you. God bless. Thank you. You're welcome, as well. Oh. Labor dead. Good morning to you, sir. Good morning. Hey, fellas. Peter, right here, right. Is it open? Maybe, perhaps. Hello. Tickets are available if you're interested. Well, tell me about, oh, it's $2? All right, let's save real quick. Not that I'm sure like I'm gonna die in the in the show, but just in case, let's, let's buy a ticket. Ticket, please. The theater Rallure awaits you behind those doors. Oh, okay. What what happens at the Theater Rallyur? Vaudeville. Let's get as close as I can. We'll, we'll park it here if I can. Yeah, we'll sit right here. All right, I'm ready. Let's do this. Hello! Yes, thank you, thank you, thank Life you. Arthur. Thank you. Welcome. Welcome, everyone. Well, all right. I am your host, Eldridge <laughs> T. Abington. Thank you. Yes, Eldridge T. Abington. Few men have had a career more crowded with incident and various intercourse with the world than I. During extensive travel through this and foreign lands, I have procured a show so fantastical there <laughs> exists nothing like it anywhere. In an effort to bring this entertainment to even the poorest dreamer of dreams, I have determined the ticket price should be very low and the show held without a profit. To me, it's true for it is blessing enough to bring these gifted artists to you. Yay! Yeah, I discovered good. this next act in a tiny village in Italy. 
truly the most exotic of places in the world. Yeah. He was just a 10-year-old boy. I raised him. I bathed him. Yeah. I shaved him from head to toe. Did you hear that? Yeah. He is truly Why is this funny? a wonder to behold. Presenting Benjamin Lazarus. Yay, okay. I miss cheering for him. I'm clapping. Welcome, welcome, welcome to my incredible display of dark arts and mystical prowess, my dear ladies and gentlemen. Now, it's unfortunate fact that in this mortal coil we are all born to suffer from all manner of maladies in daily life. Who here has not had a friend or loved one near death's door from cold ass wounds, <laughs> typhoid fever, diphtheria, or the bite of a rabid animal? The greatest wealth is your health. All the gold in the world cannot purchase it, and yet it is the most delicate and tenuous of all life's gifts. And nothing knocks down death's door faster than this. <laughs> a man cannot outrun a bullet. Many fools have tried and failed in this endeavor, including okay. the tonic salesman I caught petting my wife. <laughs> I joke. I joke. <laughs> I assure you, he has met his maker and they are playing gin rummy among the molten lava of Hades. Oh, <laughs> I have traveled all around the world, this delighting young and old with all manner of feats of amazement, but none are as dangerous as what I am prepared to attempt tonight. Oh, I, I will hand this Didi Packenbush revolver over to my assistant and okay. stand at considerable distance across the stage. She will point the revolver at my head and pull the trigger using lightning quick reflexes taught to me by a tiny man I met in the distant orient. What? I will catch the bullet in my teeth. Yes. Oh no! My teeth. To prove that these are indeed live rounds, if my sharpshooting assistant would be so kind as to shoot this bottle of Lalicola off my head. This is insane. Yeah! Off my head. Here we go! Careful. Yeah. I could do it without the, the bullet in the brain insane. right now. Okay. Oh my god, come on! Oh god, I'm just waiting for her to like sh actually shoot him in the head. <laughs> All right, good job. Now, observe as I, the great Benjamin Lazarus, will do what no man has ever done and cheat death as if it were nothing. What is he doing? This <laughs> is Doing some meditation. Oh my god! catch oh, one! Thank you. Thank you. Let's do that again. Hmm? Right. Hmm. I'm pulling my leg. This is a bunch of dang balderdash. Ah. Oh, <laughs> a skeptic. Hmm? I'm trying ah. to watch the show. I'm Benjamin Lazarus. I assure you, I am not participating in some hoax or carnival ruse. These bullets are 100% real. Wow. In fact, I challenge any member of the audience to come forward with oh, their can own I? firearm. Can I? Can we go? Can we do it? Play my I want to do it. To catch a bullet in my Did teeth. How? This is it. Is no one man enough? I, I want to do it. I want to. I want to go. Come on, someone, stand up and take a shot. Okay. Okay. If nobody else is gonna expose this phony, then I will. I trust you are a good shot, sir. I can shoot a fly's wings off at a hundred paces. Excellent, my good a man. Fly, now, right. Ready? Take aim. 
fight is too much. <laughs> and fire. You're not your teeth now. <laughs> it's just an illusion, after all. Good job, guys. That was, that was great. Good job. Is that it? Do I have to go now? <laughs> yes! Oh, good. There's more. Yes! Truly a feat of incredibility. I told you that boy would bring you all manner of personal satisfaction. He certainly <laughs> does me. <laughs> now, I discovered this next remarkable woman in a lost jungle, <laughs> deep in the wilds of Colombia, where they do not wear clothes. She breathes fire. Yes, she does. And for those with the universal and not unworthy curiosity, yes, I can attest, she does emit fire from almost every orifice in her body. What? <laughs> Presenting Antoinette San Servino! Arthur's always like late at clapping. Yeah, I'm just sitting here watching the show. This is kind of awesome. Oh, we should clap. Good job. She sure is hot. <laughs> nice one, Arthur. Oh, 
Incredible. It's still hot in here, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Incredible. Bravo. Though I must warn you, court her at your peril. <laughs> She'll not nurse babies. She'd turn them into bacon. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. He liked that joke. Yes. yes. <laughs> I discovered this next woman in the kingdom of Poland where she sang by the roadside, subsisting on coppers tossed at her feet. Miss Robin Koninsky. Yay, I, I clap, but I can't right now. Thanks for joining us today. This here was a new song about a so-called modern improvement you may have become aware of called the telephone. Yeah. This new machine will carry a facsimile of your voice from Blackwater to Valentine to San Denis, and they propose to distribute them to all manner of places so that no matter where you are, somebody is looking for you. A wise man prayed that one day we may all eventually be gathered together in a heaven of everlasting rest and peace and bliss, except for the inventor of the telephone. <laughs> because someone is always calling, saying, Hello! 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 I've got There's a little baby, but he's out of sight. I talk to him across the telephone. I can't see my honey, but he's mine, all right. This gal just can't leave a man alone. Every single morning, you will hear me yell. He central picks me up along the line. He connect me with my honey, and I ring my bell. And this is what Yo, I say to baby. Blackwater calling. Uh oh. Hello. This morning we were born, they said he'd been with Bess and told me exactly where he's at. Now I'm headed out of town to his address. That man better hold on to his hat. I sure do worry that the wires might get crossed and it will separate me from. Stand up because I'm afraid it'll make me leave. Is that it? Oh, it's totally it, isn't it? She was awesome. Oh, oh what a fine tune. She is a siren singing from the rocks as men bash into them to their doom. What? Thank you for joining me for tonight's entertainment. I hope it has delayed for at least a moment the crushing and remorseless misery <laughs> of this mortal coil. Th thanks. Good night. Thanks, Aldridge. Dream Here's well and come back soon. That was awesome. 
That was so good. I'm... I... That was really... That was totally worth it. That <laughs> was worth two dollars. You were like, and I'm out. Is there like a bar back here? I mean, if... I, to get drinks and whatnot before the show? That was really nice. Oh, and it's daylight outside, isn't it? Okay. What else can we do with the rest of our time today? I could probably do a bounty or I could start a bounty, but I uh, don't know if I want to do that. Let's see. We can, we've got dominoes. There's a tailor. Poker. What is that? Photo studio. What is that about? Doctor, I could go to the gun shop and see if I could upgrade my weapons. Let's try doing that. Let's try doing that. On. Fight speed. Anything. Please. You. Yes. Please. Coin. Please. Didn't I already give Please. you a coin? Won't you lend a coin to a fella in need? Sure. I mean, I did come go to. Get yourself some need. Sandy, you need to just waste my money, right? Sir, I want you to have this. Thanks, friend. No. Oh. It's nice to give something instead of just begging. Thank you. That was very nice I of you. I asking for money like a goddamn worm. Groveling here in the dirt. Yeah. Okay. We buy and sell something. Hey. Hello. Oh, hello there. Oh, hello there. Hoffman Davenport. Okay, the gun store is here. Yes, expert gunsmith. Welcome, sir. Come in and have a browse. Okay. Can I customize, perhaps? Okay, so my... Go to my repeaters, my Lancaster repeater. Adjust. That one, I think? Okay, let's clean the weapon. I can see you look after your firearm. Okay, yeah. One of you guys in the comments said I have to actually clean it first Would you <laughs> before be I can do anything. Me changing some of the parts at all. Okay, improved rifling. This is going to be really expensive, isn't it? So that increases my range. And then iron sights. Okay. Swap out the barrel of the weapon, adjust the sights for better target acquisition, scope, telescopic scope, sights for long distance targets, customize the grain type of windstock, and the wrap. Protect your weapon from wear and tear. Very good chop suey on the street. Say I sent you. Okay. Thanks. It doesn't... Okay, the grain doesn't actually do anything with damage and whatnot. Do I want a scope, though, on this? Iron sights. I mean, I really just use, um, I really just use Deadeye. You need any help? Yeah, I'll get the improved rifling. How about that? Um, styles? Chase I can do metal. some nice ornate engraving on there. If you like, good price. Frame. No, I, I think I'm fine. Uh, engravings, though. I, I can't do in any of that. That's fine. Um, ammunition, though. And will you be needing any ammunition? Hmm. Express and high velocity. I, I feel like we're fine. I don't know what other upgrades to get. Components? Barrel. I have some better quality components if you're looking for the best. And then iron sights. I don't know that I need it. The leather wrap would probably be good. But I, I think I'll just leave it as is for right now. Okay. We're, we're done. Thank you. 
Where else should we go? I think I'm going to go to the photo studio. What's that all about? What's Trapper Fence? General store butcher. Um, yeah, let's go to the photo studio and see what that's about. Thanks, Mister. Thank you. Hello. Hello. Oh my God, it's so optical parlor. It's so lovely. Uh, can you get out of the way? How about you get out of the way? The Leon Dior. Or Dior. Oh. I, I, I literally didn't even touch you. Okay? I did not even run into you. And I normally do that. And when I do do that, I say I'm sorry. I do not think I ran into you. All right. Photo Studio. Marcel. Come on, get Elbow. clear. Studio portraits. Ooh. What on earth is up? Oh, Ooh, that dog sir. needs help. I do love a first timer. Uh, request a portrait. So, friend, can you take my photograph, please? pose <laughs> yes now something comfortable no that was not bad give me a pause yes now something comfortable. we'll go with the relaxed version where he's just gonna smoke in his hand I feel like that's very Arthur Yes. Okay, change expression. <laughs> no, he would not be smiling. Change background. No. As good an option as any. Um, what is it? Someone's boudoir, maybe. Nicely. An ancient I ruin. Plantation. I don't feel like that's good either. I don't know that I. Maybe the first one, probably. Ah, Vesuvius. Mount Vesuvius. For your portrait. Yeah, I'm going through his expression again. No, we don't want Mount Vesuvius. No. Why not? You are the focus here. Tropical paradise. Slash sure. swamp. That one, fine. The living room brings the subject to the focus, in my opinion. Yeah, I think maybe that one. Don't know what happened to his pose. We should totally maybe have the gun pose. You have photos? Oh, I don't have any photos. Okay. Apparently I do have photos. Oh, these are the photos that I took. Okay. No, I want to go back. All that beeping. Okay. So I really do like just the relaxed pose. Not that one. Don't be shy. Not that one. This one. Nope. Expression. Nope. That one. There we go. Take photograph. Just hope I don't look too ugly that I scare folk. <laughs> okay. I... There we go. There's the one we just took. All right, let's exit. Do I get it to take with me? Is he, are we hot or something? I feel like, no, let's try.
try inventory. Oh, it's really just on the social page that you have your photo? Oh, that's, um... Strange. Is, is Arthur... I feel like Arthur's hot. He's fair. Temperature's fair. Oh, he's underweight again? Ugh, Arthur, I'm sorry. I don't feed you enough. Because <laughs> you're a puppy, apparently. We'll have some cheese. <laughs> All right. Well, I think we've wasted enough time in San Denis for today. So, in tomorrow's video, I think I may actually... Well, I think we'll do the bounty, and then maybe we'll go and do Dutch's quest, perhaps? Or I could... Yeah, I think we can go back and do Leopold's quest at a different time. But I'd like to do a bounty and just get some more money. And then do Duchess Quest, and then maybe do Leopold's Quest, because by then I should have uh, lots of money to upgrade the camp some more. And then go and do this quest, and and what, which one is this one again? Is this the matchmaking one or something? Yeah, something about true love. I have a... There was a conversation at the sheriff's office. He was talking to his son, who's a gray, who was talking to a, a Braithwaite girl. So I wonder if there's a star-crossed lever situation potentially going on here. But anyway, we'll worry about all that tomorrow. So as always, thank you so very much for watching. Please do keep yourselves safe, and I will see you again tomorrow with another new Red Dead Redemption 2 video.